everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness, it's Tracy Steen. So this workout is a compilation of bar, cardio, and strength exercises. We're gonna take supersets, so it's gonna always be one bar with either cardio or a strength. Your format will be 40 seconds of work with 10 seconds in between, so a nice quick transition there. I'll call out what's coming up, but you'll also see listed at the top of the screen there. You'll require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. Make sure that you have lighter dumbbells for the bar exercises. The lightest I have are fives, that's what I'll use, but even threes or twos would work well here. We'll start with a nice little warm up and end with a cool down. If you love these fusion type workouts that mash up like that, click the card at the top of the screen. That's my playlist. You can download one for tomorrow. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do this. All right, I'm setting my watch for high intensity intervals. So let's squat, come up to your tiptoes here, reach overhead, we'll get everything warmed up before we get started here. Again, yes, one bar exercise, superset with either cardio or a strength. And uh, we'll do it three times around. So it's about a six minute circuit, five, six minutes, take it wide. And then you can take a break or keep it moving. I'm looking forward to this. I've got some new moves again that I haven't tried before, so that's always fun to make sure I get it right. <laughs> uh, I, I do like the bar. I'm enjoying it a lot, actually. Take it wide, touch your toes, stretch that hamstring. Good, and let's just lunge side to side and drop that shoulder to opposite knee here. Stretching that SI joint a bit, lower lumbar. Two more here. Good, round up through the back. Let's just roll those shoulders here, you can tap it out. Switch directions. All right, I'm gonna go into my circles now. Good, switch directions here. All right, we're gonna drop down one knee. Open up into that chest, give it a nice little stretch there. Warm up the hips a little bit here too. Stretch and open. Oh yeah. One more each side. And here. Good. All right. Let's just do one more squat. Again, get some Blood flow going before we get started here. And let's just finish off with a nice little torso twist here. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. And reach right across this time. Two more. Okay, grab your dumbbells, your water BCAAs, and we're starting. All right, I'm grabbing my fives, starting with the bar move. You're gonna do a valley press, extension, lateral, leg lift, just like this. Here we go, so you're up and press. Out to the side, and then straight behind you. Shoulders back, nice and tall. I'll call halfway on the leg. All right, last press here, switch legs. Out and back. I'm gonna move into a goblet squat next. I'm gonna grab my 15 for round one. Good, 
Nice. All right, the shoulder width apart, you're gonna pulse at the bottom, and we're gonna lift the leg out to the side as well. So feet shoulder width, pulse here, leg lift here. Now switch sides and lift. Feet are shoulder width apart here. You're going ass to grass. So as low as you can. My elbows are down, touching my knees. Last here. All right, back to your bar. Valley lateral, leg extension, leg lift. Here we go. Out and up. legs. Nice little focus on balance as well. Draw your core in nice and tight. Nice. All right. Back to your goblet. Let's pulse that out. Here we go. Low pulse, leg lift to the side. Now switch. There we go. Let's work. two count push up with a leg lift as your bar move coming up. Get ready for that, take it down to the ground. All right, here we go. So you're gonna go down for two, one, two, up for two, but we're gonna lift the leg like this. Here we go, one, two, one, two. You can also take this from the knee, just like this. Okay, one, Two, one, two, nice and slow. I'll call it halfway on the leg. All right, switch legs right here. One, two, one, two.
Okay, good. Go into cardio move. You're gonna jack, twist, jack, twist. Mod right here. Here we go. hard on the leg, one leg, isn't it? Here we go. And one, two, one, two. All right, switch legs. All the way up. Get ready. Here we go. Take it low and up. Good. Again, I've got light weight so I can increase my pace here. Just watch your knees. Stick your chest out nice and tall. Toes are out. Knees track over the toes. Hitting that inner thigh too here. We're gonna do a wide and narrow squat thrust for our strength coming up. 
All right, I think I'll grab eights for that. Start with the feet shoulder width apart, squat. Then we'll take it wide. Watch for this. Squat, thrust, step wide, squat. Thrust, narrow, squat. Thrust, wide, squat. Thrust, narrow. Move your feet when the hands are in the upright position. these two supersets. Okay, plie, shoulders back. Your tendency will be to round the shoulders, stick your chest out. down and up. Okay, nice rapid fire. I'll call halfway, we'll switch the leg. Okay, I'm gonna actually use eights for this. That didn't seem very hard with the five. Bridge position, leg up and leg down and up, down and up. Good, I have rounded arms. Nice glute squeeze on the one leg with that bridge. Whoa, didn't expect that. Hiya. In four, three, two, switch legs here. Let's go. Don't lose a beat. The 
push the hip up. All right, standing for your cardio, you're gonna do your frog squat all out. So you're gonna frog down and then jump wide. Here we go, low, wide, low. Okay, modify here. for me. Nice. All right. Jack full out or frog squat full out or whatever I've called this. <laughs> and Down here. 
for a row rotation. Okay, that requires some practice. One row, rotate, modify from the knees if you need. I'm holding at 15. Row, rotate. Up a half. One more on this side. Switch sides. If you need to mod, whatever hand is on the ground, drop that same side knee. Okay, back to the bird dog. Holding a five. Balance. Knee to elbow. Stretch. Slow. Control. Switch sides. Whew. And work. Here we go. Up, down, press. Switch sides. Without a dumbbell this time. See if I'm gonna do it better. And out. Of course, you can modify from knees here. Switch sides. I'm better on one side. This side, I'm better. Then we're standing. Let's work. Switch sides. again. This next move, I'm going to hold my left side up, curtsy to my right, and then lateral swing right there. Okay, I'll call halfway on the arms and legs. Starting in curtsy, left hand is elevated, swinging to the right, curtsying to the right. Here we go. So, curtsy low, up, same side. I'll call half here. Stick your chest out low. Good. One more here. Switch sides. Good. 
We're gonna go into a inchworm burpee coming up. Last year. Okay, good. I'm gonna burpee out, inchworm back, and jump forward. Here we go, jump, burpee, inchworm back, jump, burpee, inchworm back. Arms and legs. <laughs> together. Feel free not to use a dumbbell, okay? I really want you to focus pushing your back into the ground, not arcing it. Slow and controlled movements. We're 
bring us down into a wide, narrow, bent over row. I'm gonna hold 15s. Wide and narrow, here we go. So hinge, narrow, turn, wide, turn, narrow, and wide. Hi, Lil. Come to say hi to everyone. They've missed you on account of your being banished for poor behavior. <laughs> hi, are you gonna say hi? You're gonna sit there like a good girl? Perfect. Love it. Good. Pull it up. Squeeze your shoulder blades up. And you can see I'm not going super fast here either. Controlling the action. Okay, good. So again, I was using my 15s for that. Back to my five for the small package. And Slow, slow, and up. One more of each. Are you gonna be difficult this round? I sense difficult. Stay, no, no face. Stay there. Oh geez, Lily. Push your back down. Slow control. here. Ready? Tight tummy and narrow. Wide. this. Okay. I'm going to go right into it. I'm going to grab just my eight pound dumbbells because we're going to do a lunge leg kick and we're just going to use them to balance on. Okay. I'll call halfway on this. So dumbbells are on the ground. You lunge low, leg kick here. Low. Straight leg, low. All right, we're gonna burn out that bottom glute of the stationary leg. Really feel a great burn on that guy. In three, two, switch legs. Don't miss a beat and lift and lift. stretch as well. 
Okay, in and out squat jumps for your cardio. Why wouldn't we? Here we go. Low, here. So if you're modifying low impact, you're here. Seizing. Almost there. One more of each, okay? top down. She's like, you're starting to round up here, hey? Oh, I'm like, no! That cannot be! I will not have a hump on my back. And she's like, well, do you do a lot of sitting? I'm like, yeah, editing. I'm like, ring, ring. And she just said, you gotta stretch out those pecs. And I know this 
But do I do it as often as I should, Lily? I don't know. Anyway, gotta stretch those pecs. So we're gonna do a few stretches there today. We'll do legs too. And let's link our hands behind our back slowly. Hinge forward. Get kisses from the little bird. Thank you, thank you for kisses. Just lift those arms above your head here. Really stretch that out a little bit. Where's your chewy, Lily? Where's Piggy? Go get your Piggy. Go get, go get Santa legs. Where's Santa legs? <laughs> oh, that feels good. I'm gonna do this stretch here too. Great for lower back, bicep, if you push your thumb toward the ceiling here. Anyway, so here's how we remedy the hump in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. All you 30 year olds are like, oh brother. Um, stretch the pecs because they shorten when you sit at your desk, when you're on your phone. Your neck juts forward, of course, when we're on our phones. Everything internally rotates in the front region. So we've got to externally rotate and strengthen rhomboid muscles, middle back muscles, okay? That's why we're doing these rows here. I do like a nice seated row. At home, it's difficult unless you have bands or a cable machine. Go ahead and do a quad stretch here. But we need to lengthen out through that. So one of the things you can do as well is if you have a foam roller, you wanna lie the foam roller lengthwise, switch sides, and put your whole back and head lengthwise on the foam roller. And then what you simply do is just let your arms fall out to the side like this. Okay, it just, gravity is pulling those arms down and so it begins to stretch open those pec muscles, which is super beneficial. So I'm putting that on my to-do list. Let's hinge forward at the waist, heel up, stretch the calf and hamstring. Um, I'm gonna do that every day. And then also, every time you walk through a door frame, one hand on each side, stretch the chest open. We walk through a ton of door frames every day. So it's a great thing just to trigger a healthy habit of stretching. Um, yeah, I don't want to be rounded and hunchy, and I'm guessing that, you know, with the amount of Zoom meetings that people are having, I bet everyone's posture is just going to slowly over time get poorer. So we need to take some functional actions to make sure that that doesn't happen. Into a glute stretch here, just getting into that four position, stretching in that single side glute. Um, I'm also getting a standing desk. I know. <laughs> I know that Dolly and Anna, two of my subscribers, have held me accountable to getting one. I moved my office upstairs this year and I need a new desk first before I get a standing desk. So it's, you know, you can get little attachments that go on top of the desk. Do you guys have one? Super beneficial for getting more standing time, which is more beneficial for blood flow, but also posture. I don't want to be a rounded back lady. <laughs> no, thank you. So, I'm gonna stretch more. I encourage you to stretch more and go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Again, here's that fusion playlist if you want something else for tomorrow. And if you're interested in joining our membership, click or tap right there. All right, see ya in the next workout.